Hi, my name is Margie and I am, um, I live in New Hampshire and I'm 67 years old. It is January 8th, 2022. Uh, Wednesday night, it is now Saturday, Wednesday night I conducted the eight hour free session on the MedBed. And um, I watched the testimonials, I read a lot of um, Oliver's postings and information on it, um, and I've been studying, following, I should say, um, quantum healing and quantum physics for a long time. Not that I can explain it to anybody, but um, but I inherently understand it, um, if that makes any sense. There's just resonance and knowing um, deep inside of me. Um, so anyway, I... Um, I decided that what I was going to do, my intention was that I was going to not direct the med bed um, to any specific issue, um, but I was going to let it, um, with its infinite wisdom, um, because it is, you know, connected to source, uh, is my, my belief, um, that I was going to let it scan my body and direct frequencies to where it needed to be. So uh, that was my intention. Um, I had dinner with a friend and um, we had chocolate cake for dessert and I normally don't um, eat chocolate and so when I do it's um, it's delicious but it kind of gives me a buzz. So my intention was to, my plan was to go to bed at about 8 seven thirty, eight o'clock and lie there and experience the med bed as much as I can while I wake and then experience the the, the rest of the eight hours um, you know if I fell asleep at least I would get the full eight hours uninterrupted um, <clears throat> so that was my intention so I went to bed at 8 30 and uh, got in bed and was lying there and of course you know my brain was going all over the place. Um, I have a pretty vibrant mind um, anyway. And so um, I was lying in bed and I t activated the med bed and I told it to scan me, asked it to scan me. And again, intentions to just lay there and let it do its thing. And But my brain was going, well, what about this? Well, maybe I should tell it this and maybe I should do this and maybe I should do that. Shut up, Margie, stop talking, just relax. So I was having this ping pong match with myself um, and starting to kind of get bummed out that I ate the chocolate and then I couldn't experience it the way I thought it should be experienced. And, you know, should I shut it off? But no, I don't have another chance to do it. So, you know, anyway. The next thing I knew, I was in this, I was aware of the fact that I was um, in this altered state. It was as if I was observing myself from within myself. And um, I was, I, it was, if you know what the vagus nerve is, it's a nerve that connects your brain to your gut, basically. And it runs in, sort of has this tentacle. It comes from your ear, goes behind your sinuses. It runs down to your gut. Um, that may not be totally accurate, but that's how I understand it right now. Um, and it really is the communication center of your body. And when it's not functioning properly, um, you get a lot of disconnects, right? So, um, I guess my, you know, my main issue that I deal with is some food sensitivities and some gut related stuff. Um, and, you know, I didn't express that, but obviously it picked up on this. So um, during this altered state, what I observed was that I was expand that the space in my head, which wasn't really my head, it was, you know, felt very holographic, but it was expanding. 
and I was, it was, it was expanding and it had no limit really. It was kind of interesting. That's the way I observed it. And I was breathing like that, this long, 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 long exhale. And I don't even remember inhaling, <laughs> um, but it was this, this breath. It was as if I was breathing with the universal rhythm is, is kind of the way I <clears throat> perceived it. Um, and I don't know how long I was experiencing that. The next thing I knew, I opened my eyes and thought, wow, I must have passed out. So what I remembered when I opened my eyes was, God, I couldn't fall asleep. And boy, I suddenly fell asleep. Well, then I remembered about the breathing thing. And, but I, so I lay there for a few minutes and thought, oh, it must be, you know, I went to bed at 8.30 and thought, oh, it must be about 10 o'clock, 9.30. It was 2.30 in the morning. I was, I had been somewhere deep. It was a very, very, very deep state. Um, I don't, I don't call it sleep. I think, you know, it was a, it was definitely the deepest that I've been um, in, in lying in my bed. I've experienced um, altered states before, but anyway. Um, so here it was 2.30 in the morning and um, I was sort of lying there going, wow, I wonder what else was going on. You know, did, did anything happen? Um, and my, I was pretty wide awake um, and wanted to lay there and get the, you know, the rest of the two hours that I had left, but I couldn't lie still. So I got up and I actually ended up having a little snack because I do experience blood sugar issues sometimes when I eat sugar, um, which is not often. So I had a little something to eat. Then I got back in bed because I wanted to, you know, continue. And um, the, um, so I went back to sleep and woke up. Um, one of the things that I wondered during part of it was, did I activate it properly? Because when it first, when I first lay down, I wasn't sure that I didn't get the experience that some people get with this, you know, um, shield or field closing around me. I didn't experience that. And I was wondering whether I actually activated it because I didn't say it, I thought it. Um, but anyway, it obviously did activate. So that was Wednesday. I woke up in the morning. Um, I felt good, nothing really uh, different, but I'm pretty healthy and strong and I wake up in the morning feeling pretty good anyway. Um, then that was, maybe that was Tuesday night, sorry. Um, Cause Thursday, um, I, uh, a friend came over and, you know, helped me sort of dismantle Christmas. And I had so much energy that day. I, I was unstoppable and it, I felt so good, so good. Um, and, um, but I, you know, other than that, I guess, so what the most, um, profound thing I think that I noticed is that colors and my senses are highly um, intensified in a, in a really cool way, not in an uncomfortable way, but colors are just beautiful and sensory, uh, my senses and sensuality is just really strong. Um, memories pop up really nice memories and nice images are popping up in my head. Um, it just feels really good. There's a sense of, of love, deep love and beauty and calm and peace. Um, and the other thing that I noticed yesterday and today, um, I'm in New Hampshire and it's 12 degrees out. And I spend, you know, I go outside, but I spend a lot of time inside with heat on and everything. And, and you know, especially also being 67, you know, my skin is 
um, possibly not as supple as it used to be. <laughs> um, but I notice that my skin is super moist and silky, like all of my skin, my face, my arms, my whole body just has this silky luster to it. It's like when I get in the shower, it's almost as if I have lotion on um, and it feels great. It feels really good. So um, that's my experience. I, um, I would love to continue with the research trial. Um, the only thing is that they want me to identify a disease and I I don't really think in those terms. I think more of um, balance and, um, you know, free-flowing energy. So I, I kind of am a little, um, I guess I'll use the word irritated, a little concerned. I just don't want to identify some disease and say, well, this is what I have and this is what I want you to work on because it comes from imbalance. So it could be, who knows? Um, it could be emotional. It could be, like I said, you know, my issues are, you know, I thought with my gut a little bit, but it was working on my vagus nerve, which that it, the, those are connected, obviously, but I wasn't, I didn't direct it to work on my vagus nerve. If I was going to direct it, I probably would have said work on my um, digestive system or something anyway. So um, I, I am going to think about it. I'm going to try to figure out how to do the research without having to identify. Um, and I have, um, I activated a water bottle free, um, did that free one. I'm going to test my, the energy in my hands for the cube. Um, and I, Oliver is awesome, this, energy, this uh, technology, if you'll call it. Um, for lack of a better word, is incredible. And um, it is the, I don't even want to say it's the wave of the future. It is now, it is here, it is real. And it's just so cool that the frequencies are opening up so that people can able to see it when it's revealed. Um, so good luck with it, everybody. Um, I wish there was some sort of a support group, kind of face group thing, although I don't, want to go on Facebook. Um, but anyway, if somebody has an idea of how to sort of have a group together thing on this, it would be really cool. Um, but thanks. Sorry for the long video, but uh, check it out. It's very cool. <laughs> thanks.